adorable, right? It's filled with even sparklier stuff to help us decorate frozen themed macarons, cupcakes and a two-tier cake. Let's take a look inside. Wow, oh, too cute to handle. Alright, let's get everything out. Well, for the star of the two-tier cake, there's a bottom and top cake. Competitive in cuteness are definitely the macarons, which will turn into two pretty key hangers. The blue macaron pictures Elsa and the pink one is Anna team. We've got pearls and crystals. They're quite limited, so I'll take an extra effort to keep them clean and organized by handling them with a pair of tweezers. Gently placing the pearls I use on kitchen paper with rough texture to keep the small parts from rolling around. This pastry is a small container in disguise and we're lucky enough to have a pretty violet twin. Both come with two domes which are super important and you'll soon find out why. But the most important item of all is the whipping cream which makes for the magical cuteness of these sweets. Before we start, let's pop out the images with which we will decorate the whipping cream. Luckily there is such a great variety that it allows you to be picky and only choose your most favorite ones. Here you also see long strips with a scooped silhouette which are specifically for the two-tier cake. Alright, let's see. Yep, we're all good and ready to start. Let's create a magical sweet winter wonderland. I removed the lock from the whipping bag and softened the crafting cream by kneading with my hands until I finished counting to 100. I use a ruler to push the mass towards the opening and tightly close the empty part of the bag. We'll make the cupcakes first, so exchange the regular cap with the large star cap. Glue a dome in the very center of each cupcake. This is to support the swirl shape. Keep your hands relaxed and quickly move in circular motions. As you see, as you see, craft cream looks and behaves like the real thing, but dries on air within a few hours. When decorating with pearls, there is no need to use pressure, as this would immediately get the soft whip out of shape. From this point on, it will get more fun but also more difficult as we change to the small star cap. Let's go! Top the edges of one macaron with whipping cream. The finished macarons will look like this. Now on to the biggest part of this set, the amazing two-tier ice cake, which will allow the lots of whipping cream to create its magical castle-like appearance. One neatly centered large swirl in the middle of the top cake, surrounded by a sequence of swirls alternating between single and double swirls. Don't worry too much about where to place the pearls as pretty shiny things will look pretty and shiny wherever they are. I push the cake in a single folded deco strip and voila! The top cake is all topped. The bottom cake needs six big double swirls and a small single swirl between each double swirl. While still wet, I'll place the top cake onto the lid of the bottom cake so that they can dry and stabilize together. I enclose the bottom cake's base using two deco strips and cover the scooped borders with closely spaced droplets of whip. 
I go for snowflakes because, well, I don't know about you, but they kinda remind me of sugar. I'll hold the motif gently onto the cream until each one is stuck. As we're finished decorating, we can finally combine all parts together and the sweet winter wonderland is complete. Thank you for watching. Boop, bye bye boo.